All right, guys, quick video tonight. Uh, my goal is to show you how to successfully run the CUDA toolkit samples that come when you download the CUDA toolkit. Um, <clears throat> in this case, I'm, I'm running the CUDA toolkit nine samples. Um, I'm not sure if, you know, by the time you see this video, there are later versions or what have you. But as always, I, um, I had some problems running the samples when I first downloaded CUDA Toolkit, so I'm here to help the masses uh, figure out how to do it. So first of all, after you download the CUDA Toolkit, um, I'm on a Windows environment running Visual Studio 2017, um, Windows 10, you know, GeForce 10, 1050Ti or 1080Ti. Compute Capability 6.1. So when you download the, the toolkit, it's going to be in this directory here. Uh, C, Program Data, NVIDIA, Corp, um, CUDA Samples version 9, and then, you know, you have the different uh, samples. Now, not all of the samples worked for me. Uh, some, I, some of them I still had errors, but for the most part, a lot of the ones worked. I, my favorite is the simulations because it's visual and you can see stuff happening. So this is the um, directory that uh, it, it's installed in, at least for me. For you, it might be different. Um, and then what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the solution. So I double click it. Now, this assumes, of course, that you have um, Visual Studio 2017 installed and you have your CUDA environment set up. If you don't, go to my previous video uh, called the CUDA Toolkit 9 installation, how to, how to program CUDA. You could also go to cudaeducation.com and, and you know get information on how to set up your CUDA environment. Again, on a Windows platform using Visual Studio 2017. So anyway, double click into Visual Studio 2017. Um, Double click on the solution, make sure it has a .sln and it's a VS2017 because that's that's a specific one. For all of the other simulations, you always want um, you want the VS2017 um, solution, right? So anyway, opened it up and if you try and build it right out the gate, it's not going to run and I could show you. It's going to... First of all, tell you that you need a, the SDK is wrong and um, you might get a, a compile time error also. So I'm just gonna um, build my project so you could see the error. Um, oh, wow, actually I didn't get the error. Maybe it defaulted to um, my previous setting. But anyway, you go into project and then you go to Ocean FFT Properties. Basically, it's the name of the project and the properties, right? It's the name of the project and the properties at the bottom here. And then the first thing you have to do is um, you have to select the Windows SDK property because if you compile it on the first time around, it's going to tell you, give you an SDK error. So you have to select uh, the latest one. Um, if you don't have it installed, you have to basically go here, just search Windows 10 SDK and download the installer. Uh, make sure when you're downloading Windows the SDK that you don't have Visual Studio open, because if you do, you're going to run into problems. So close Visual Studio, download the latest one, and then reopen Visual Studio. Um, 2017 and then just pick the latest one right so you pick it there the next thing is that you have to make sure your compiler is the right one so uh, it defaults to uh, 2017 but you got to use a 2015 compiler because uh, I, I had this problem even when I was installing the toolkit and just trying to run the default CUDA toolkit uh, program that pops up when you open a, a new project um, so make sure you do the 2015 compiler and do OK. So I, I built it already and then just do, it's going to want to rebuild it again. 
And there you have it. That's your um, that's your uh, ocean. Um, I'm supposed to be able to talk with this, but anyway, I don't know why I can't. But yeah. So um, as I said, you could go go into all the other projects. You know, Spoke Particles is a popular one too, and just do 2017 at Solution SLN. Um, make sure you have the Windows 10 thing here, and make sure you choose the proper compiler or platform tool set, whatever, for 2015. And that's it. Um, please visit CUDAeducation.com for more helpful videos on how to program CUDA. Just about the greatest programming language under the sun. Um, if you have any questions, you could comment on this YouTube channel. Just comment on the video and I'll try my best to respond in a timely fashion. Uh, donate to the cause. You could donate at kudaeducation.com at the sidebar. Um, actually, let me just show you Kuda Education. There you have it, folks. Lots of good stuff, and you could donate right here. All right, have a great day.